Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the volume serial number on a hard drive. So you most likely will never have a need to do this, but if you're watching this video then you might have a need to actually change the number. So maybe you have some software that's tied to the volume serial number for licensing purposes and you've got a new hard drive and it's not working right and you need to change it. So if you open up a command prompt, it doesn't have to be admin command prompt, just a regular one, navigate to the drive. So in this case I'm on drive E. If I type in VOL for volume, you can see the serial number and then also the volume name. So we're going to be using this free tool called Volume Serial Number Changer. So when you install it, um, you might have to install some .NET framework uh, updates to run it. So you'll find out when you install it, but it'll actually do it for you if that's the case. So we're just going to run it. Okay, so here are the drives here. So we'll go to the E drive. You can see the number matches there. All right, so we're going to change it. Let's just say something super simple, like all ones. Here are the allowable characters, zero through nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, so the hex numbers. Then you can even add a comment. And then just say yes to the prompt. So you might get this error message here. If we're going to say okay to that, then we're going to restart and see what happens. Okay, let's log in. All right, let's go back to the E drive here. And now you can see it's changed to all ones. So I think that message might be because I'm doing this on a virtual machine. So it's technically a virtual hard drive, not a physical drive. So you have to see how it works for you when you try it out. All right, so once again, just install the software, run it. Pick your drive. You can see it's changed here. Change the number, add a comment if you like. Then you have some options up here, exit tools to change and you can see your history. So you can see the error right here. And if you want to check out some of their other apps, you could do that as well. All right. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download a volume serial number changer and then you could try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.